They decide how much you'll pay for electricity, water, and gas. They're responsible for making sure Arizona companies treat you fairly and safely. And this year, three of the seats on the Arizona Corporation Commission are on the ballot. And ABC 15 is giving you the information you need to know about the six people who want your vote. Tonight, ABC 15 investigator Courtney Holmes kicks off our series highlighting candidate Eric Sloan. I'm an APS customer. My rates went up 36%. Something uh, Eric Sloan is, says spurred him to run a second time for a seat on the Arizona Corporation Commission. He lost the Republican primary in 2018. And I want to bring integrity back to the commission. But says if elected this time. I think one of the things that we're going to absolutely have to do is take a hard look at these record profits that these utilities are, are accruing right now. We're going to have to look at um, rate structures and how those structures impact Arizona. But did Sloan help facilitate the utility profits and rate structures that he's alluding to? State records show that in 2016, Sloan was the chairman of AZ Coalition for Reliable Electricity, a political action committee formed and funded by Pinnacle West, the parent company of Arizona's largest utility, APS. That was a nonprofit organization that, that uh, helped to get the vote out across Arizona. And I think it's important for people to vote. But records show that committee spent about $4 million of Pinnacle West's money to get out the vote, as he put it, for the company's favored candidates, Republicans Bob Burns, Andy Tobin, and Boyd Dunn. I have never worked for APS, so let's be very clear about that. Here's a 2016 commercial that the committee was responsible for. Boyd Dunn, Bob Burns, and Andy Tobin. All three won, with Tobin and Dunn's yes votes securing the controversial 2017 APS rate hike that is still being debated today. Despite his history. I don't believe utilities should be donating uh, to regulators. Another part of the public record we cannot ignore is this report from Sloan's time in senior leadership at the Arizona Department of Gaming. Hired in September 2015, by March of the next year, a state investigation was underway after his co-workers filed a complaint alleging Sloan constantly intimidates people and is a bully to those that are beneath him. 13 witnesses described the department's work environment as a frat party or a three ring circus, according to state findings. Also among the complaints, Sloan would ask, who can we fire today while joking outside of his office? One subordinate said she sits in her car for about 10 minutes each morning, willing herself to come in and gather the courage she needs to face her supervisor, Mr. Sloan. In another incident, an African-American employee complained about Sloan singing the Negro spiritual Swing Low Sweet Chariot as he passed that employee's desk. Documents show Sloan acknowledged doing it, but the state investigator wrote he could not in any way understand that this may be a culturally sensitive issue. And it's all false, according to Sloan. Well, these are more salacious attacks that you see in politics over and over and over again. So no, these things did not happen. No, they did not. Uh, this is, again, a salacious attack by my opponents on me as a political candidate. The state's investigation substantiated several of the allegations and terminated Sloan's employment in April of 2016, a little over six months on the job. My character is, uh, is, is great. It's untouched. It's, uh, it's magnificent. This year, he's running as a clean elections candidate, so he can't accept donations and says he's ready to start working on behalf of ratepayers. The issues that are affecting Arizonans in this race are affordability, consumer protection, and getting a fair deal. Courtney Holmes, ABC 15, Arizona.